Hello and welcome back to Barley Spring. Right, as you can see we're on the move and we are headed to Barley Spring Market which is where we were selling uh, silage, we sold sugar beet as well here and I've decided I'm going to place a placeable here to replace having to, to plant more, more sugar beet uh, for our own farm. So this is where we can buy animals as well. I'll shut that down. I do have the lights on because so it's quite cloudy uh, driving around so just just to ensure um, I'm visible on the road I suppose. Uh, Barley Spring Mart so there we can purchase our animals from here but uh, there is also a massive space here in the back in which I'd like to play on a nice light as well uh, to place uh, the beet pulp um, uh, sell point, well buy point uh, essentially Right, containers. This one here. So this would be instead of carrots, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, or sugar beet as well, if we were to buy or produce our own. Uh, I think it's power food, moisture food. Can't remember exactly which one it is, but we are going to place this here. So I'll find a nice blow. That looks about good. I just want to make certain that I can actually get around that way. That should be absolutely fine, even if it's a bit off centre that way. It's only a pound anyways, don't mind paying it. Perfect. Now, we'll make it look a bit more natural here in a moment. I just want to see how practical it is now. So essentially, this will be something that we can just put directly into their trough and it should yeah this should be nice and easy just take it wide just assume we just go right underneath might be a bit tight on this side getting out I suppose but right right how much is this going to cost us so that's the beet pulp um, which, which is fine I really don't mind and especially since I have to come down here every time I need to get some as well come down to the uh, the animal dealer essentially to purchase this until we are producing our own which we may not we may just use this at least we have the option right so completely filled trailer of 12,880 litres 618 pounds that seems extremely reasonable I don't know that seems also very similar to the prices of carrots but I do feel this is just easier to have it all loaded into the trailer for you like that and now with our superb Lambo with all of its power we can take it back to the farm and put the whole load into the cow's trough which is what we'll do so we'll see you back at the farm alright just rolling in now Let's get this. hello cows very excited I'm certain you are ladies Oh indeed, listen to them, bless. Right, beat pulp and we'll get it loaded in. Oh bloody, Nora, I've done it again. Completely, completely forgot, okay, before it goes all tipsy-turvy and all even worse somehow. Oh, there we go, it's rectified itself. Right, we'll take advantage <laughs> of having self fixed we'll just uh, get to a much better position than this right with the feeder you would go underneath and you wouldn't have to worry about about that um, but I should have remembered from last time so whoops right go like that go on oh it's perfect right so they have much more food than they had before. Look at how happy they are, all eating and twisting around quickly. It's beautiful. It really is. So let's have a look <laughs> at the animals. Uh, and they... That's much better. That is much better. So if we can keep that on par with this, eventually we'll just have to store it and then we can add it to mixes much easier that way in time. I just... I don't want this to keep dropping it's all it's all gone quite 
pear shape from the from the off really we we start with so many animals it's almost a bit a bit too much to take care of with maze plus learning maze plus as well but i'm very excited to be doing this because it will lead to um a better understanding of maze plus when we go uh onto the next series well not from barley spring but in addition to barley spring when we start up on uh cool farm which is not far away it's always not far away in our hearts but for now <laughs> for now we shall wait uh, patiently as uh, it is now coming out as you know uh, first looks and all that sort of thing so it is happy days that it's on its ways and uh, we shall have a series of that as well I'm excited for that but for now we will focus on getting this trailer in this shed uh, because I think now that we've got the cows more fed, I feel I've broken into many, many rhymes in the last uh, few moments here. So I'll just reset everything. There we go. Right. Okay. So with that put away... Oh, I'm still rhyming. Alright, with the rhyming fully out of my system, we'll connect to the drill and we will make our way to I'm gonna set this to canola because if we have a look at the calendar it's what something we can actually put in the ground but it's also something we can feed to the cows as part of their uh, mix for power food I believe it is moisture food power food because we're using that to replace the mineral feed now that we have beet pulp in there that's perfect that can help replace uh, what we would have done with sugar beets for example but we need to get into another field. Look at the versatility. Oi, Sparky, get out the way. Come on, mate. Uh, but yes, we are going to have a look at these two fields here in question. I have decided that in the future, the very small field just to the south of the main yard. Oh my, have I got stuck there? I have. Right, the very small field in the front is going to be converted into yard space. Uh, also, I'm finding that there's a bit of a... I've had an issue with my wheel recently, but I know there was an update on FS. This is straight away after the uh, most recent update. Usually it resets your um, steering wheel the, for the dead zone because I don't know right I just want to have a quick look at something but the dead zone usually ends up getting uh, set a bit off or reset at least I don't know 14 who can do that 14 it must be for controllers or something of the sort right I do want to have a look so 64 is where we are now I just want to have a quick look at the soil to see where we're at with it because I think this would be Right, so nitrogen's all right. Okay, well the pH isn't isn't as good as it could be, so maybe this one will use for actually. Right, this is what I wasn't certain. Should I do 64 or 63 as rapeseed? Because that's what I was going to do. Actually, yes, I have my my idea. I'm going to do 63 as canola and. I'll do 64 as maize because I do want to have multiple types of silage on the go and I can sell a load of it as well because that will be quite good for selling um, but the soybeans is also going to be very good oh right we're going to do soybeans as well right well we could do canola now instead because we do need it sooner than later and we can always sell it so I think what we'll do is we'll do 64 as canola and then we can also lime it uh, first so that's what we'll do we'll go and grab the Massey we'll bring it down with the lime and uh, we can get that taken care of before we drill so I'll just put this up here to the side right so go and collect the Massey and we'll be right back alright so as you can see I'm still in the Lambo and I'm going even farther away from the field because I've changed my mind again I've had a look at it and it makes more sense to have a crop field in this far field. So what I'm going to do is put canola in. Yes, I'm going to put canola in this field now. 
Just one, I want to get something in the ground sooner than later, and two, uh, well, obviously we'll harvest it sooner than soybeans, uh, and it gives us a chance to uh, sort of repurpose the crop as well, or at least the field. Now, also, we don't have to come nearly as nearly as often into this field if we are doing it uh, as a crop field, where we only have to come in so often, where if we're mowing, <laughs> we're in here all the bloody time with so many machines, scare the poor calves, it just makes more sense to do it like this. So, that's what we're going to do. I think it's for the best. Um, again, this is uh, this is something I'll try out and see if it doesn't work. Then that's fine. I can always re put it put it back as as grass. Um, but I do like it as a crop field. So a nice big field. Um, and hopefully, oh nice, yes. And see when we re-drill. Oh my goodness, I'm all over the place here. When we do re-drill, it will take less seed as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, I feel like the force feedback, the, the re-centering of my wheel is still not working. I don't understand. I don't I think it's a combination of Logitech and the the game as well. Because my other games seem to be fine with it. Dunno, it's a bit strange. I don't know anything about that. But we will forget about that. Try and go around. The headland's always going to be a bit uh, with the hedge there. We shouldn't go too close to the hedge anyways. I just know the field doesn't fully go to the end. But uh, that's fine. We don't have to go all the way to the hedge. There we are. Brilliant. Yeah, this, this will make a very nice crop for canola especially. Just be so vibrant and yellow off the... Uh, Shining off the water as well there. <laughs> right, so of course, after this, we are going to roll the field, as you tend to do. Now, oh, there's a divot here. I forgot about that. Can the drill... Oh, wow, look at that. The harvester might struggle a bit, but we'll get it sorted at that time. Right, wonderful. So we shouldn't need... Now, I should have a check, actually, before we crack on. Uh, but I just want to see, what does it say? It says it's bad. Nitrogen's bad. That's, yeah, I, oh, not all bad. Some bad, some good. Right, maybe we'll come in here with... Yeah, you can't really do it before, can you? I was going to say, we could come in with slurry or muck. We have a massive pile of muck. It, it, it's ridiculous. I, uh, I hadn't checked it for a, a bit, and then I looked just the other day. Hello there, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on a minute. Hello there, what are you? Oh, speaking of muck. Oh, it says it's a cedar, but it looked like a, it looked like a uh, manure spreader. Dunno. I'm still going to call that a sign that I should probably get look into a muck spreader. Really, I don't even have one, so probably slurry to start then. Anyways, I am rambling and we are at the uh, end of the headland here. So I'll probably do another headland just because it is a strange... Uh, sort of shape as well and uh, might just help us with the rose as well. and the field is now almost all devoid of grass. Just a bit of a strip here I missed trying to get it all into one final pass but there we have it. Let's get that shut down as well. If we have a look it says oh nitrogen is good in a lot of... oh it's too high in some spots. It's perfect in some. It's okay in others. What well, the OK one? Is it low? Oh, it's very high. 
Because down here it was very low. Oh, it's alright. Hmm. I think I'll leave that. Yeah, I, I think overall it's it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Right, might as well get the gate on my way out. So, uh, we did do a fair amount of drilling and rolling in the last episode. So, I'll probably do just a, a very small bit of the rolling. Uh, if I find out... Yeah, I could keep the lights on, I suppose. Still quite cloudy. Still makes it a bit dark, but that's fine. It's uh, the atmosphere. I really enjoy it. It's, it adds to the accuracy, I suppose. Right, so we'll head to the... Oh, we don't have to close that gate. Right, right, right. As long as the calves stay here, it should be fine. Oh, speaking of the calves, very quickly, as we are driving, I'm almost certain that the grazing mod is working. I wasn't certain. I kind of forgot about it, really. But the fact that they've never been empty makes me think that it has just enough to keep them going, hence what it the actual mod does. So that's good. That's fantastic, actually. Um, not so much for these guys, but they are getting power food very soon. Actually, that's what we've just put in the ground, is our power food. But I guess we'll uh, have to wait for that. We'll probably bring some mineral feed down at least, just to get them up a bit. But at the very least, they will have f three categories of food that are full all the time including uh, now with the moisture food, the bee pulp, that will be brilliant. Right, enough rambling, we'll get the roller on, see you back in the field. Alright, we're back with the roller now, and as you can see here in this corner, there's lots of room for unloading and loading a header off a header trailer. So, again, this is just a very good spot, I think, for this kind of field. It will be really be, uh, it will really be, rather, uh, a very nice setup. Right, so just before we break off into a shorter or, uh, well, time lapse or some sort of jump cut session, um, really quickly want to chat about the uh, the future series. So eventually, uh, Court Farm will be released, and I would like to get cracking on a series with that straight away, because uh, I would like to have another long series like I had with uh, Fooling my very first series. I don't know if this will be quite... Why is that gate open? What is going on here? Have you opened the gate? Cheeky monkey. Oof. As long as they're still all in. Yeah, there's 20. We're fine. Right, as I was saying, uh, with, <laughs> with Court Farm, I would like to start a little bit different than this, especially since I am in, uh, planning on using all the same realistic mods, and uh, any other further suggestions for realistic mods would be greatly appreciated as well. I'm not entirely certain what else I would add, but it will be a smaller sort of setup, and we won't necessarily start with animals. I'm not too certain how the map's set up, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to see. Um, but we shall see because I would like to look at other maps or other farms rather. Perhaps there's going to be different ones uh, than the main one, like this one. I just immediately went for the main farm, but I would like to, to start a bit smaller, you know, smaller machinery and 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 kind of build build up a nice series from from that would be good. Anyways, as I said, I won't ramble on too much with the rolling. We'll just uh, whoop, hello. There's a bit of a jump there in the field. There we are. Perfect. Again, hopefully hopefully the uh, the header doesn't have issues with that with the harvester. That's fine. Not a problem. Right, we'll crack on with it. And I'll just get a cheeky bit that I missed there. Oh, and here as well, it seems. And uh, and that's it. That's the field rolled. So, really, we are looking at what should become, even though the soil is rubbish. Oh, it does say expected yield of 79%, which is rubbish, because that's just unfortunate. But it is it is just the the land, really. It's the land that we have, and that's just the way it is, you know. Um... Right. Well, right, we'll head back. I'm just thinking, uh, it's, it is just, a, it is really a shame because there's nothing we can really do about it um, other than turn off precision farming. But I'm not going to do that. That's just the luck of the draw, I suppose. 
uh, you know the uh, the areas but and plus we're not going to know the areas before we purchase the land or whatever anyway so yeah it's just the luck of it or the unluck if I guess you could say as well uh, anyways as far as Court Farm is concerned as I said I would like to do a different sort of style um, as for which tractors I have I do actually have <laughs> um, a couple in mind and then uh, put in some nice kit as well along with it but we'll, we'll see we ha really have really depends on the on the map itself on the farms on many different things um, as far as this series as I say it's not going to replace Barley Spring at least I don't think it will uh, I'd like them to run parallel and then in that vein have three series but I would have to do only one per week that's the only downside to it I just I just don't have unfortunately the uh, the time to manage to do more than than that um, but right let us go do we have to get anything repaired I suppose we could have a quick look at what all we have right um I suppose that's fine have a quick check of this right well I suppose that's fine for now as I say as long as it increases productivity which this has increased but also I'm expecting I think it's 28 months that we can expect some calves so we still have some time there right oh wow those are rooster males those are ready to be sold I would say uh, we should actually pop over there here we'll we'll tuck this away right I'll put this away and we'll see you at the feathered animal coop this is a nice peaceful place to be to be honest got little ducks here oh big duck sorry don't want to scare the little one hello I've got little chick as well little chicks and little ducklings duck the rooster cockerels too many cockerels I reckon right so they are producing eggs but they are still quite young for the most part so they're doing their thing but we should we should probably get to selling a few of the roosters that we have so they do sell or you buy them for six you sell for one I wonder if that we should wait for them to age well let's look at the first one we had age three months for ten months and it's worth two so let's let's wait till we have no room before we sell them because they might uh, be worth two pound instead of one uh, which if we sell them we get literally nothing for them for transportation purposes so that's not on um, although I wonder if a cheeky way round that would be let's have a look very quickly at um, I believe it's misc yes so the animal cane but it doesn't do chickens but we will get this eventually <laughs> we don't need it right now because um, I think we actually have to go to the shop pick it up as well but oh hello vehicle leasing costs have come in and they are quite a lot right that's fine that's fine I, I don't want to have to take a oh hello I don't want to take a ha have to take out a loan but it might have to happen just to be able to uh, keep things running smoothly because they'll need food soon as well right so but unless we sell the but again we can't we have to wait till they're at least of the right age so there's nine that are three months that are worth one pound and there's 17 that are worth one pound each at four months 17 of them yeah and the male ducklings I suppose we should wait oh there's even more new ones they're zero months oh my goodness Right, once they hit puberty, that must be when they uh, reproduce or produce eggs. Hmm. Right, well, we'll sort it out because we do have more coming in, but we should definitely sell these very soon. Hope As soon as they hit two, two pound, then we can at least sell them, get a pound back, and then it should be fine. Um, I don't want to allow overcrowding, but I might because a lot of them are yet very young. So I might do that if we need to, but I don't want to do that for long, just so that they can age up and we can sell them. So we're not giving them away, essentially. 
Uh, right, we'll get that closed up. I think March is done, really. Um, if I haven't mentioned it before, this is going to be part of a yard. So essentially, we would get rid of this gate here, or this fence here. Yeah, there we go. I figured that would work. That's pretty well exactly what I was hoping. Um, and potentially something over there, but I haven't fully decided. So for now, we'll just keep that there, and we can keep this gate as is uh, for now. Right, so I think that's all for March. So what I'll do is uh, we'll I'll have a quick check of everything, make sure it's fine. And uh, hang on, we should see... Right, they have no straw, so they're producing no manure, but that's not a terrible thing because... I'll show you why exactly now, because of this. This is mental, 65,000 litres of manure. Uh, so yeah, actually, you know what, we will bring them some straw so they can keep producing massive amounts of manure, and then we'll have another nice, essentially free source... Uh, of green fertilizer, which is brilliant. So we'll connect to this. Uh, we'll do that off camera and we'll see you in April. Good morning and welcome to April. So we are just heading into the fields, the two that were drilled in the last month. Uh, and I'm just going to get them de-weeded because as you can see now there are weeds in so they're a bit difficult to see the barley's come up very nicely and I decided to use this 3670 I'm not too fussed about uh, repairing it unless it really brings our speed down uh, which it might do at such a low <laughs> or it might just stop working we shall see right we'll get it started if we do go slower than we have the capability of doing then I would like to uh, stop, but I'm just going to double check to make certain how fast does this actually go? 12. So that's fine then. It is a, a large uh, machine, large width as well, so as you can see the first bit's already done. Won't take long. Uh, we'll get field 66 and 63 done in a, a rather quick time lapse. Just remember that we can't go through this field uh, that field there to get through or we will crush our crops actually I should check right so it says required tires all tracks and tires medium so ho for the uh, this says narrow only growth stage six of seven so I, I don't even think I can forage this until May right well, well hang on this says growth stage three of three forage the grass. Weird. So I wonder if it'll say growth stage 7 of 7 forage. I'm hoping that's what it says. Really, really hoping that's what it says. But we shall see, because this map, sorry, very quickly, we'll just check. Should be dark green. Should be a darker green. So I think in the next month, that's to say May, that's when we'll be, uh, yeah, dealing with, uh, with that harvest, the forage harvest. And then eventually we'll we'll put corn in the ground for maize. We we'll get some. We eventually I'd like to be able to feed the animals uh, all, like feed them all uh, properly without buying the food, uh, including the chickens. But because I know they do require fresh maize for a certain uh, food category. Uh, but for the most part, the maize would be for silage, maize silage, of course. But yes, we will crack on with this. We'll do whole crop. See how it works. Uh, and then see if we have a preference of all of them once we get some maize silage in. But for now, we'll get these fields de-weeded. Just before, just before we carry on, uh, these are no longer calves, are they? This is a full-size cow. Or is there like a middle ground? I am almost certain, if I check, that is... Blimey, they are heifers now. They're eight months. That is amazing. 
Um, right, so what I reckon we need to do is... I don't know, you know what? I think we really should. Next time that these go down to nothing... You know what I should have done from the off? Is have these cows in the bloody pasture. No, no, no. It's best to do it this way. It's best to. Best to wait. At uh, 26 months, they the, the calves can be brought into this pen where the current now heifers are. Uh, we want to get them ideally into the barn as soon as possible, I reckon. Uh, or just let them out when they need food, when they're out of food. But we've got loads of most of the food, that's the problem. So, right. Well, we'll crack on with the uh, the herbicide here and I'll have a, a think about what to do about that. Because um, they still can produce milk out here, and it is April. It's probably what we should do. Right. Versus buying more power food, we can wait till ours is actually ready. I think that's the best shout. Right, well, as I say, we'll just crack on with the uh, the herbicide here. We're just about done. Hopefully we have enough for this field. Um, but I'll start at a uh, corner here so we can make a nice round of it. And uh, yeah, it should work out quite well. Actually, I'll probably go this way instead because all the other field work I've done has gone the other way. So I'll go this way first. Right, get that unfolded and we'll crack on. <laughs> So we are all out now, but oh, you know what? I do have, if I'm not mistaken, I should have an IBC at the farm. Maybe I can bring it down with the other Massey. Uh, I might as well just tab over to it. It should be right here. Oh, good. At least I have it. Brilliant. I will actually just bring it down with this Massey. Wouldn't bring the other one down just for that. Right, we'll uh, go and collect the rest of it and finish up this field. Brilliant. We are done the weeding. Let's have a look. Looks pretty good there, there, and there. That's brilliant. Right, so as it stands with all the fields, we've got two in. That will be for whole crop silage. It would be nice if they were a bit closer together, but perhaps, perhaps the barley will go very quickly and be ready before September. Even though, well, we did put it in March, so I'm hoping... I'm expecting August, but July would be brilliant, but that's that's too soon. That's too that's some oat level um growing. I don't know if that's possible with barley, but nevertheless we have two whole crop silage crops and we've got one for well a bit of power food but also a cash crop. Uh, which is why I'd like to alternate this one potentially with uh, soybeans or something of the like for that purpose. And then both of those can be used for power food for cows. Although I believe only soybeans can be used for power food or one of the foods for chicken. So I'll have to look into that as well. But as I said, for now, I will get the chickens just their regular food. Unless they also have grazing capabilities. Is that possible? Have I spent heaps of cash? On, what's Sparky doing all the way out right there? Why am I? It's because I left the gate open, cheeky mongrel, eh? You got in there. Has to be. I left the gate open, yeah? I actually did. Anyways, um, right, we will have to look at all the different uh, crop types and what we're doing and all that. I reckon that the wheat will be ready next month, so that's to say May, for foraging. It'll still be, it'll still say uh, growing, but it'll be in the final growth stage, which is apparently, hopefully, uh, when I can do my whole crop silage. I have read through the manual, because it does sound with all of this like I haven't, but I have done, and there is a lot to remember and also to reference while actually 
playing as well because uh, I don't want to forget the things I need to know for Maze Plus but I am learning and uh, it'll be nice when we start with a bit uh, we've been thrust into it to be honest so it'll be nice when we uh, start Court Farm and take a bit more leisurely I suppose you could say right look at that barley's going that's fantastic it looks really good barley is a nice looking crop as well the wheat is coming along um, but I'm still the nitrogen and all that in that field's fine, because it was grass before, but this one, I don't know, it says okay in some places, well I guess all places. I probably could have come in with more nitrogen, but nevertheless, this will be a beautiful crop when we forage it for whole crop silage. Right, well, that is all for this episode, so as always, thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, please do take care, and bye for now.